Guys, if you're watching this, make sure you subscribe. If you want to watch the whole thing, you can watch it on YouTube, Apple Podcasts or Spotify. At least you made a name for yourself, so it's fine. I tried. I tried my best. And you were one of the uh, people that actually applied. I was. I I did apply. So basically my thought process was... I'm ready for it. It's bad. It's petty next level, but you know, we've all been there. (laughs) I'm so embarrassed. Um, Okay. I'm just going to say how it is. Mm. My partner at the time, he left me. Fuck him. January, we were engaged. Traumatic experience. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Okay, no, fine. I didn't know you were engaged. And he he did it over text whilst I was in work. Oh. I'm in the back of the ambulance. And I get a text. Oh my like, god, sorry, I'm I forgot you worked in the ambulance. I was like, why were you in the back? <laughs> it was yeah. that stressful. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like I didn't need the ambulance, like the patient did. Yeah, in the back fine. of the ambulance, I get a text. He's like, I'm breaking up and I'm leaving. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, I've got 12 out. hours left, hun. Yeah, thank like, you. This is fabulous. <laughs> um, anyway, that happened. Yeah. Got home and he's like there with his bags, like ready to leave. Gross. Leaves me. I'm heartbroken. You know, all this. Thought he was the one. Yeah. Sick. He was not. He Disgusting. Was not. Disgusting. Mm-hmm. Anyway, saw him that he was on like Tinder within like a week. And I was like, going to the worst breakup of my life. It wasn't even that bad, honestly, because looking back, there was no love there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and I just thought, well, if you're going to be on Tinder, yeah. then I'm going to be on your TV screen for the whole of summer. Actually, the best revenge in a <laughs> bikini as well. And I was like, you can do Tinder. I'll do Love Island. As like, you should. I'll do me, babe. Love that. <laughs> and then you went on. What was your, right, biggest high, biggest low on the show? Oh, okay. My biggest high on the show... <laughs> probably yeah. was leaving look, looking back now there was none there was none <laughs> <laughs> yeah looking back now was a whole damn waste <laughs> but <laughs> no my biggest high probably making the friendships that I have yep. with the girls and definitely a brunch date do you know the baby date and the Cute. girls went out yeah loved it I had the time of my life I'm a mother Love <laughs> literally that. I was having my cheese balls <laughs> wine yeah so I'm love sophisticated that. Uh, that was yeah that was my high is that yep. sad that that was my high no that would be me if there was cheese involved <laughs> that would be 100% my high so fine love that oh so yeah that was my high that yep. was a cool experience and then my low probably probably the recoupling yeah no fair <laughs> enough we're not going to talk about that. Yep, that was tragic. Yep. Um, <laughs> yep. um, probably my recoupling. Mm-hmm. And my other low was probably like the first week where I had like nobody that I was really gelling with. Really? Guys, like, yeah, the guys just weren't feeling it. Oh, so. right. I mean, to be fair though, there's selection in there. They're good looking, but sometimes they're just not, they're not just what you not want. for me. And I feel like you probably didn't even know what you want. You just come out of a, an engagement for fuck's sake. You don't even know what other men are i yeah i yeah. just was still in my mindset like i hate all men yeah well so. now we're back to <laughs> so now I'm straight that's back great to that. yeah it's like a full circle <laughs> have you watched it since coming out no i haven't watched it but right. i get tagged in like loads of clips all <laughs> of the time and every time i see my face i'm like why do i look like a bowling ball Felt on that. tv yeah 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 <laughs> everyone says they got done really dirty every time on love island they're like i so don't look dirty. like that yeah so dirty it's hell but <laughs> So you haven't watched it, although you've been tagged in most of it. Yeah. Because been a lot. people on you get stick on social media. You actually do. But I do have to say, um, I think it is the way they edit it. Because some people have come out and the way they are is completely different to how even you, I feel like it's completely different to how you're perceived on screen. Oh, one hundred percent. Like one hundred percent. I think at first I was apparently like portrayed to be this, like really sweet, innocent, yeah, yeah, pitiful page. Like she's heartbroken, yeah. all this. She's gonna get her feelings hurt. And then towards the end, I was like portrayed as like this mean girl that like didn't care. And honestly, I'm just a dead mix down the line of both. Yeah. So I'm not one or the other. I'm just a little bit of both. In the middle. I'm in the middle, babe. That's the both worlds. Jax. So started off with him. You were having a great time. Maybe too good of a time. That's a lie, you weren't. But, you know, you're having, <laughs> you're having a fine time. Casa Moore, come back. His head's all scrambled because he fucked you over, even though he said he didn't fuck you over. <laughs> it was all stress. Then he leaves. Now, I don't how know. How dare he just how leave me like that? How dare he leave you in the loop? The loop? The lurch. Don't know what it is, but he left you there. Boom in. Fuck him. <laughs> so, I don't know. Well, you didn't see what was going on on Twitter, all the no. rumours. So... 
I'm going to give you a list of the rumours, right? Right. Because I've still not watched any of this back, Have this you, cancer right. stuff. So, well, we so. didn't really... Okay, well, let me explain to you how he came across. Right. He came across on the thing to be quite, like, controlling, like, mm -hmm. very angry, very aggressive, <laughs> um, whatever. Then when he left, people were saying it's because he threatened you and Adam. Um, it's just because he got so angry. Was that the case or no? <laughs> What, Jack's leaving because he got angry about me and Adam? Well, apparently he threatened you. <laughs> threatened me? <laughs> you, he could oh my not. God. Could you imagine if Jack threatened me, he wouldn't be left standing? Love that. Like, baby, no. <laughs> like, baby, no. Yeah. Um, no, he was just needing some time out to himself Fine. to focus on him. Were you worried about the backlash when you got with Adam after Jack's left? Do you know what? I actually, I got to the point where I just didn't care anymore in there. It's so I was just like, yeah. it is what it is. Mm. So no, I wasn't. But at the same time, like Jack's doing me over the way he did. Like obviously it hurt. I'm not gonna lie. I'm big, I'm brave and I'm strong. Yeah. It did me over a little bit. So I was in a bit of a mood where I was like, fuck it all. Fuck him, yeah. Fuck it all. Don't really care about anything or anyone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, what else am I meant to do when I'm in Love Island? Apart like, from talk to people. Apart from talk to people. Well, do you know what I mean? This is what I say. You know when people, their partners leave and they're like, I love them. And then they're like, but I'll stay. Well, yeah. Uh, but I'll stay. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Sometimes I just feel like, you made it pretty clear, look, I'm going to get to know Adam as well. Like, obviously you're not going to leave with him. And then people were kind of shocked that you got with Adam. Well, Jack's left me in there. Who else do you want to me to get with? Defend for yourself. Like, I mean, yeah. <laughs> what, what do you are you going to do? Break up another couple? Like, not today. <laughs> no, babe. It's Maybe not next week, but not today. <laughs> not today. Well, that's what I was going to say. Do you think there's a chance that you would get back with Jax? There has been slight contact. Right, yeah. But... No contact of the lips. Oh, my God. No okay, contact fine. I just wanted to make like, sure. Come on, let's not forget let's how this boy done me in Casa, yeah? Yeah, very good point. No, very good point. you don't get this again. <laughs> Listen, but sometimes if the moons move at the same time and you're both there at the same time, who knows what's going to happen? I don't know what analogy that was, by the way, <laughs> but I thought that made sense in my head. Um, so, I'm yeah. not quite sure how much it made sense, okay. but I get your vibe. Like, yeah. Obviously, we had a, vibe had a vibe in there. Yep. You done me over, dickhead. Mm -hmm. Fine. Yep. But we're just going to see where things go. I am in zero rush yep. to be with any other men in my life because men are trash. It's time to be single. Just want to be It's time to I swing from the rafters. <laughs> I saw you at a show the other day doing a little... No, stop little it now. sexy dance. Stop. Do you know what that was? And I'm going to clear this up right now. Clear it. When I was dancing like <clears throat> trash on that stage... Be. Okay, I was trash. Yep. Um, that. I played odds on with Andrew. Uh, My odds were between one Andrew, and three. Andrew, as in Tasha and Andrew. Yeah. Andrew. Right, love that. We were all there having a laugh, having a drink, whatever. We were like, play odds on. My odds were between one and three. I was not, and he said. You were set up for failure. I was set up for failure. So the girl had to do what she had to do, yeah? Yep. I didn't do it because I wanted to.